Hello everybody, welcome back to my tutorial how to create an Android dictionary. Okay, so now we are standing in step 3. Right. So in this step, I'm going to separate it in 3 steps to make it easy and understand. Okay, so for my first step, it's fragment that we are going to navigate any fragment in our activity. And step and next step, we are going to handle uh, fragment even in activity and step 3 we are going to send any achievement from our activity to fragment okay so before we start I'm give you a definition for fragment fragment such OU that has layout and has any class for fragment okay so fragments is contained in an activity. So in an activity can have multiple fragments, but in a fragment can cannot contain any activity. So I will show you in my demo application to make it to make it clear okay, about fragments. So I'm going to my home screen and go to my uncle dictionary. So this is my main activity that show you on. But in, in my list view, I contain it in a uh, fragment. So now I am going to detail of this word. So it is going to uh, detail detail fragment. Okay. So when I go to bookmark and it's go to other fragment. Actually, this is standing on the main activity. Okay. So. When I press on back button, it will go back to detail to detail fragment and back to dictionary fragment and um, press back again. It's going to exist. Okay. So what is this frame between fragment and activity? So now I'm going to navigate into activity about. Okay. So you you can see activity will slide it on. Okay. And I'm back, it slide off. Okay, so this is the fragment and activity working. Okay, so fragment working in activity, but activity is working individually. Okay, independent. So now we are going to do this. Okay, in fragment in step three. Okay, so now let's step into in the residue. So first, I'm going to add my fragment. So I'm right click on my project in here and define fragment and select on fragment blank. So I'm going to set this name for dictionary fragment. Okay, so it's come up with any stuff in of course. So I'm going to remove something stuff from this, uh, like this, and with any global variable, I'm going to remove it too. With method new instance, I am going to remove it too. And with this error in on create method, and on button press, I'm going to remove it too. With this error on a type method, I remove it to this two and also this two. Okay, so now I got a dictionary fragment. Okay, so this is my dictionary fragment. Let's come up with a layout that's called fragment dictionary. So I'm going to see this layout. So I just hold on key control and click. Okay, so now it's Okay, so now I'm going to add an other fragment. So I click new fragment. So I'm going to add a bookmark. Okay, so I hit finish. I got the other one with stuff in code. Okay, so I'm going to remove any stuff. Uh, with these two and these two 
also on the time price and it's true don't worry just no anything error it's going to be okay yeah that's it oh my god other one fragment so now i am my suit i am going to identify the different uh, between bookmark and dictionary i'm going to set back on my bookmark so for this line of code is not necessary so i'm going to remove it and instead of this i'm going to set background um, set with action color so this i'm should remove this text and should put the bookmark Set font size. So I set text size. I set twenty SP. So I'm going to align it in center. I should set gravity center. Okay. So this is for my bookmark fragment. So I'm going to set the other one, dictionary fragment. So the same thing. So for this layout, it's not for this attribute, it's not necessary, I'm going to remove it and instead of it, I'm going to set the background color. Okay, so I'm going to set, I should call it from Android, yeah. okay, Oops, set it dark green, okay, so this is for my frame. So now I'm going to navigate these two fragments into my main activity. So before we start, let's go to my browser. And when we start, we just type enjoy fragment and you choose this for enjoy document. Okay, so you can find any uh, definition for fragment here. So you're going to read this for more detail about fragment. So I'm not to detail about this, I'm going to find the code to navigate to activity. So this is here. So I just copy this. And I'm going to my main activity and create a method. I call it put the type Y and I call it go to fragment. Okay, so um put this line of code. And I'm going to copy this two and pass in this message. So now I need a parameter for my fragment. So I'm going to call it fragment and remove this line and replace it with. Yeah, okay, so that's it. So I need a layout for this. So I will explain to you why this layout is need to be here. So now I'm go back to my main activity layout. To make it easy, I'm going to pin this tab and remove all nothing. So now I'm going to navigate to my main layout, main activity. Okay, yeah, activity main. So I'm done here. So you, this is for my navigation trouble. So it's not necessary. For now, so we are going to work in with this layout. Okay, that we include from layout folder and apartment. So I'm going to hold on, click key, control, and click. So now it's come here. Okay, so I'm going to collect this code. This is for my toolbar on the top, and this is for my containment. That I'm going to. See this, it is in layout folder. Yeah, and for containment, this here. So, this is also just a um, layout, the new layout. So, I'm not going to work in with this. So, I'm going to remove this file to make it easy. Okay, and display it with a new layout that I call. Layout that I put it with much parent also high much parent to make my code clean. I'm going to use this. Okay. 
So for floating the ton, I'm done with it. So I'm going to remove it. Okay, so now let's see between this layout and two bar. So this is on the top and above my frame layout is behind the two bar. Okay, so it's not split. Okay, so I'm going to change my layout to linear layout. Okay, so I'm going to set orientation of it. So for this line of code, it's not necessary to. So I'm going to set orientation vertical. Okay, so now let's see. Yes, and it is okay. It's going to be right. So now I'm going to set my frame layout. The ID that I choose it from here. From my method going to frame. So I'm going to copy this and this way. Okay. So my fragment are going to be set in this layout. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going back to my, my activity. So I need an under parameter. So I'm going to here. I call I call bool is top. Okay, so it's top. I will make a condition is top not true. I'm going to make a fragment transaction at okay at two back stack. Okay, so I'm going to put it now. So what does what is this line of code mean? So I'll be back to my demo app. Okay, so this is my dictionary fragment so this is on the top so when i'm back it's going to exit my application so if it's not on the top when i navigate to this it will navigate to previous fragment okay so because, uh, it works like this because of this line of code okay so now we are going to call this method okay so I'm going to call it here on create. So I put I need a fragment. So I create a global variable that a dictionary fragment. So I call dictionary fragment. And the other one is Pokemon fragment. So I'm going to give an instance for this dictionary fragment in here. Okay, equal new dictionary fragment and other one bookmark fragment equal new bookmark fragment. So now I'm going to put my dictionary fragment here because of this top I am going to put it true. Okay. So I need an other one when user click on navigation here. On navigation here, bookmark here. So I'm going to on navigation item selected. Okay. So I'm going I'm going to work in here. So I make a condition if id equal resource dot id dot new bookmark. Okay. So this id new bookmark is come from is come from a new yeah. That's our id bookmark. Okay. So I'm going back and I'm going to call to go to fragment and try to switch bookmark fragment and I should put this top equal 4. Okay, so now let's see something change on our application. So I'm going to run here. Okay, it is building. Okay, it's calm. Okay, this is off. Oh, Why is calm with bookmark first? Let me check my code. I 
Holland Dixon Have I said um, layout bit wrong? Oh, maybe I forget to change my tape. Yeah, I'm super cool. It's so great. Okay, so I'm going to rebuild my results. So I just hit this button. It's going to rebuild my results. But when you are making change on the class, you need to rerun. Okay. So now you see. Yeah, it's come with dictionary fragment. So now I'm not going to bookmark. Yes, it's come to bookmark fragment. I think it should have something wrong. Yeah, it not should add, it should be press. So I'm going to change this to replace. This may be the right one. I'm going to remove this. In here, and I'm also going to remove this too. This will call it place. Okay, and we run. Okay, this is Yeah, it's a new framework. Okay, it's bookmark framework. You, you see, my bookmark is on the top, so it has a blur. Yeah, because of dictionary fragment is on the top and bookmark fragment is on the top. Okay, so now I'm not going to use keyword to use method add. I'm going to use replace. Okay, this is the right one. Okay, I got it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so that's it. Let's hit on back button. Yes, it's come to dictionary. I hit back. Okay, it is it. So this is for my show for this video. So thank you for watching. Let's see you on next video that we are going to handle an event from fragment in activity. So thank you for watching. See you on next video. Bye bye.